श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कवितार्के के केशरी वेदांताचार्य वरियो में सन्निधत्ता हम सदा हृदय नमो नारायण लेट्स कंटिन्यू टू एंजॉय ऑल ऑफ अंदर्स वंडरफुल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द दिव्य मंगल विग्रह ऑफ श्रीमन नारायण द द दिव्य अवयव सौंदर्य ईच पार्ट ऑफ द डिवाइन ब्यूटी इज ब्यूटीफुली डिस्क्राइब्ड एंड नैरेटेड बाय स्वामी आलवंदर लेट्स कंटिन्यू टू एंजॉय आलवंदर आफ्टर एंजॉयमेंट ऑफ द स्ट्रांग शोल्डर्स द लॉन्ग लिम्स ही ट्रैवल्स टुवर्ड्स द नेक एंड देन द डिवाइनली मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल त्रिमुखम द फेस अबाउ दट स्ट्रांग नेक उद उदग्र उदग्रपीनाम सविलंबी कुंडला लखावले बंदुर कंबु गंधरम मुकश्रियान्यक्रतपूर्ण निर्मला अमृताम सुबाम बोरग तज्जलस बोर प्रताम सुबिंबाम बोर हो ज्वलस्रियम सो उदग्रपीनाम सविलंबी कुंडला लखावले बंदुर कंबु गंधरम मुकश्रियान्यक्रतपूर्ण निर्मला अमृताम सुबिंबाम बोर हो ज्वलस्रियम एंड उदग्र Udagra means yadupai vuyand, the high and large shoulders. Pina amsa, udagra, udagra pina amsa means it is also hefty, large and fat, means strong, mountain-like shoulders. And, and up to that shoulders, vilambi kundala. the hanging kundalams of the lord so the high and large shoulders are there like mountains and there the ear studs and are the the ear rings that hang from the divine ear lobes touching those strong large shoulders so the black curly tresses fall and hang by the side the the, the black tresses which are behind the lord alakavali means the the dark the curly dense stresses or uh, tresses which come out from the rear and come through the conch shell the which is the neck so the shell like neck the the beautiful beautiful conch like neck is there around which the rear black tresses come through and kambu gandharam which is gandharam means the neck kambu means the shank the neck which is like the white conch shell mukashriya nekrita purna nirmala mridam shubhimba so like the chandra bimbam like the beautiful spotless flawless white moon like that beauty the divine face which resemble and which and which are like the uh, uh, which are like re, which exactly signify signify the beauty of spotless moon or which will humble and be little the beauty of the moon and its splendor and it also puts the wonderful charming lotus flower to shame the face so the conch like slender and beautiful neck of the lord attracts the attention of acharya alavandar one is reminded of the anubhavam of tripanaalvar at sri rangam muttrum unda kandam kandir adiyene uyakondade muttrum unda kandam the neck which had swallowed the entire universe and and that is and that is what is through the the universe is taken through the through the neck and hence swami tripanalvar enjoys that here alvar refers to the lord's neck that swallowed during pranayam all the andams and andavaranams maha prithvi and the seven kula parvatams the oceans in one gulp so the rear ear rings or studs that hang from the ears add to the beauty of the shoulders it enhances the mountain like shoulders the kundalam that hang from the long ear lobes the black tresses from the rear that sprout out out of the kiridam so you see the golden crown and beautiful trimukam and lovely kundalam and from 
from that below underneath the crown is the dark curly dense beautiful tresses that come out of it and come and are around the, the neck which is like the conch shell so the three lined conch shell like neck is the ultimate because it has the most beautiful divine face on top of it it has the wonderful black tresses around it and it has the kiridam behind such a divine face would put the spotless shining moon to shame would also would also completely humble the wonderful beautiful freshly bloomed red lotus flower to shame if both combine it would still not match such most beautiful you says alavandar so yeah swami namalvar also says mudichodiyai unadu bugachodi malarndaduvo adichodi nee nindra thamarayai alarndaduvo padichodi aadayodum palgalanai nin paimpon kadichodi kalandaduvo tirumale katturaye mudichodiyai unadu bugachodi malarndaduvo look at the wonderful shining kiritam is it is that your divine beautiful head which has spread or which has given lent some of its stages to the kiridam is that why the kiridam is shining adichodi nee nindra thamarayai alandaduvo is the lotus flower on which you are standing got its beauty from the lotus feet is that why the flower looks so beautiful so katturai kil thamarai nin kan paadam kai ovva சுட்டுரைத்த நன் பொன் உன் திருமேனி ஒளி ஒவ்வாது ஒத்துரைத்து இவ்வுலகு உன்னை புகழ்வெல்லாம் பெரும்பாலும் பட்டுரையாய் புற்கென்றே காட்டுமால் பரஞ்சோதி கட்டுரைக்கில் தாமரை நின் கண் பாதம் கை ஒவ்வா இஃப் ஐ ஹாவ் டு டெல் யுவர் யுவர் ஐஸ் யுவர் லோட்டஸ் ஃபீட் யுவர் ஹேண்ட் வுட் நாட் வுட் பி கம்ப்ளீட்லி much much beyond compare than the lotus flower lotus flower is nothing it's a gross understatement if i say your limbs and your eyes your lot your feet your your hand are like the lotus flower completely understand gross understatement shutturaitha nan pon un tirimeni oli ovade shutturaitha nan pon the gold which is good gold pure gold should to write and it is also heated up how how much it would be shining that is unmatched when when compared to your wonderful tirumeni divya mangala vigraham your roopam no match this is far far superior to that pure gold so anganatha ranganatha's beauty is like that about which we have to now enjoy so even even our ranga ranga raja is the one who is that very paravastu he is the paravasu deva who is there here so in the last verse when we when we saw that he is a chaturbhujan once parasara batra was asked in sri vaikuntham perumal will have two hands or four hands so parasara butter responded saying that like alagiya manavalan the moolavar ranganathan he might have two hands or like the namberumal the utsava murthi he might have chaturbhujan four hands so it's up to us if you want four hands he will show you in four hands if you want to see him in two hands he will show you in two hands tamarugandha devurvam avurvam dane so andal was completely captivated and captured by alagiya manavalan's beauty when he became the beloved of andal so who edic- who dedicated saying that eliludai yaman en manai meer enna rangathu inna mudar kulalalagar vaayalagar kannalagar koppulil elugamala poovalagar emmanar em kalalvalai kalalvalaiyai aakinare so to indulge in some of some few of the infinite elements of his beauty even sri parasara butter speaks of the enchantment of the reclining lord 
affecting the yoga the nidra of nambirmal and the the one of the spell binding looks pashyan manasha pashyato hara ruchaha he is the brilliant gem of contemplation and dhyana chinta ratnam sulabha megana siddhi moksha anurupam say swami desigan chinta ratnam to contemplate is a gem nambirmal appears to his devotees in the same form in which the abstract cowherd boy krishna appeared to the gopikas kiriti kiriti nam gadinam chakra hastam tenaiva rupena chaturbhujena and in that very form in which you sport your diadem four armed chaturbhuja holding your mace and the discus namalwar has the identical vision of nambirmal sangha chakrangal endru kai koopum tamarai kannendre talarum so this is what the bhagavatas no of our wonderful divya mangala vigraham of sri rangam and the sri rangam is is the is the lord punalarangam urendru poinare says alwar he is yet to he is yet pleased to have sri rangam for his favored abode the archa vigraham of sri rangam is adored as the most dear of the five forms of lord manifestation and hence this archa murti is none other than the avatarams is none other than the paravasu deva is none other than the archa antaryami roopam and the vibhavams so we will contemplate on the archa murti and the archa vigraham and which is also who is also showing himself so sacredly in our shaligrama with that we'll conclude this wonderful verse enjoying his trimukam because he is enjoying his trimukam also completely cleanses us of our papams and that is what is to be enjoyed and that is what is to be contemplated because just by looking at the trimukha mandalam one can get rid of all the papams such wonderful most beautiful lord when will i come and please you says alavandar kavitark kasimaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha namo narayana adiyat